Okay, we are watching Groundhog Day winner of the Patreon poll last week. Oh! <laughs> Fun music already! Harold Ramey! Yes, so it's got Bill Murray, I know that, and Harold Ramey, so they did Ghostbusters and Caddyshack together, which I've seen on the channel, loved both. Somebody asked me today, if you could be anywhere in the world, where would you like to be? And I said to him, probably right here, Elko, Nevada. Our nation's high at 79 today. Oh, he's a weatherman. How do they know where to point? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I feel like he would be a good weatherman. Front coming our way. Gonna miss oh, he's looking over there, I see. Phew. <laughs> Tomorrow is Groundhog Day, and I'm going out to Punxsutawney. Punxsutawney? According to the legend, tomorrow, if the groundhog wakes and sees a shadow, we've got six more weeks of winter to look forward to. Where does that legend come from? This is your third year in a row, isn't it, Phil? Four, Nan. <laughs> is he salty about it? <laughs> he looks kind of pissed. Fun in Punxsutawney, Phil. For your information, hairdo. <laughs> hairdo. There is a major network interested in me. Yeah, that would be the home shopping network. Thanks, Larry. <laughs> Rita thinks it would be a great idea to stay around for some of the other events. You haven't worked with her yet, have you? She's really nice. You guys are going to have fun. She's cute. Mm -mm. She's fun. Rita. This was also, it's been the number one requested movie on my movie request site. I was shocked out of all the movies in the whole world. This is what everybody wants me to watch right now. So I'm excited. Can you keep a secret, Larry? I'm probably leaving PBH, so this will be the last time we do the Groundhog together. I don't understand what's wrong with the Groundhog Festival. He hates it. It's not nice. People like it. You are Ludo, aren't you? People are morons. He's grumpy. Rita, I can't stay here. What, not a good enough hotel? I stayed here two years ago. I was miserable. It's a flea bag. Larry's just dropping me off. I booked you in a very nice bed and breakfast in Cherry Street. You know, I think this is one of the traits of a really good producer. Keep the talent happy. Such a diva. Would you help me with my pelvic tilt? Pelvic tilt! <laughs> Within reason. I'll see you in the morning. Did he actually call himself the talent? Yeah, he sure did. Then put your little... I got you, babe. Okay, campers, rise and shine! I like that quilt. What's the groundhog gonna see? Do you think Phil's gonna come out and see a shadow? That's right, woodchuck chuckers. It's Groundhog Day! <laughs> Get up and shake that hog out there! Yeah! Shake that hog out there. <laughs> you have to see the groundhog? Yes, I am. Do you think it's gonna be an early spring? I'm predicting March 21st. You know, I, I think that actually is the first day of spring. <laughs> right, right, exactly. This is a nice bed and breakfast. Did you sleep well, Mr. Connors? I slept alone, Mrs. Lancaster. <laughs> I don't suppose there's any possibility of getting an espresso this morning, is there? No. I really don't know, um... How to spell espresso. He's so rude! I hope you enjoyed the festivities. Sure, I'm glad. <laughs> there's talk of a blizzard. Well, we may catch a break and that blizzard's gonna blow right by us. By midday, is probably gonna push on to the east of us. He's weathermanning her. Did you want to talk about the weather or were you just making chit-chat? Chit-chat. Okay, I'll see you later. Will you be checking out today, Mr. Connors? Chance of departure today, 100%. We'll see. Phil? Phil Connors, I thought that was you. Uh, how you doing? Don't you tell me you don't remember me. Not a chance. <laughs> Ned! Old Ned! Ryerson! Needle nose Ned, Ned the head. Ned the head. Come on, buddy, Case Western High. I did the whistling belly button trick at the high school talent show. <laughs> How do you get a whistling belly button? Ned Ryerson. Bang! Bang! Do you have life insurance? Because if you do, you could always use a little more. Am I right or am I right or am I right? Right, 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 right. <laughs> Ned, I would love to stand mm -hmm. here and talk with you. But I'm not going to. <laughs> oh, God! It is so good to see you. Oh, uh, what are you doing for dinner? Something else. Yeah, not eating with you. Take care. <laughs> Watch out for that first step. It's a doozy. That guy is annoying, though. <laughs> Gobbler's knob. <laughs> Ooh, a polka. <laughs> People are great. They sing songs till they get too cold and then they go sit by the fire. She's cute. And then they come back and they sing some more. They're hicks, Rita. You're incredible. Who told you? It's Groundhog Time. She's very pretty. Once a year, the eyes of the nation turn to this tiny hamlet to watch a master at work. 
Punxsutawney Phil, who as legend has it, can predict the coming of an early spring. I need to know the origin of this legend. They pull the little rat out, they talk to him, the rat talks back, and then they tell us what's gonna happen. Is it a real groundhog? Oh, it is. I thought it would be like a puppet. <laughs> Punxsutawney Phil, prognosticator of prognosticators. Oh, prognosticator. And stated in Groundhoggies, I definitely see a shadow. I forget, more winter? Six more weeks of winter. Nobody likes winter in February. Boo. <laughs> I, for one, am very grateful to have been here. <laughs> yeah, right. <gasps> From Punxsutawney, this is Phil Connors. So long. He's the real Punxsutawney Phil. Here comes the blizzard. What is going on? Maybe it's magic snow. Perhaps it's that giant blizzard we're not supposed to get. No! Put a jacket on. Ooh. Oh my god, the music! Hey, Commander! What's going on? Don't you listen to the weather. We got a major storm here. I make the weather. Pal, now you can go back to Pucks of Tawny. Oh, you can freeze to death. Or you can go ahead and freeze to death. Oh! Oh, crap, I should stop doing that because people think I already know what's gonna happen, but I swear I didn't. It was just clear he was gonna say that. It's your choice. So what's it gonna be? All the long distance lines are down. What about the satellite? Is it snowing in space? It is cold in space. He's having a bad day though. Oh, I like it here. Phil, you going to the groundhog dinner? No, I had groundhog for lunch. She should just smack him. So what are you gonna do? Take a hot shower and maybe read. Suit yourself. He will. <laughs> no, always start the shower before you get it. Is there any hot water? <laughs> oh, no, there wouldn't be today. <laughs> of course. Duh. Is this it? Is this it? Are we doing it again? Same song. Hardly. What's going, boys? We're playing yesterday's tape. You know, that, uh, that blizzard thing. Oh, well, We're doing it again. Sword. How? Why? Thought there would be some sort of magic. Big question on everybody's lips. Yeah, they're chap chap lips. lips. Yeah! Punks a Tony Phil. That's right, Woodchuck. He thinks they're just replaying the tape. Groundhog Day! Yeah! <laughs> That would be weird. Uh, see the groundhog? Didn't we do this yesterday? Do so you just think everyone's messing with him? I don't know what you mean. No, ah! Don't mess with me, Brad. What day is this? It's February 2nd. Groundhog Day. Maybe he thinks he dreamt it. You know, I thought it was yesterday. <laughs> oh. Will everything be the same? Did you sleep well, Mr. Connors? I will. Would you like some coffee? Yes, please. There's talk of a blizzard. Do you ever have deja vu, Mrs. Lancaster? I don't think so, but I could check with the kitchen. <laughs> Will you be checking out today, Mr. Connors? I'd say the chance of departure is 80%. Uh -huh. 75, 80. This is weird. Excuse me. Where's everybody going? To Gobbler's Knob. It's Groundhog Day. Did they meet the insurance guy again? It ha it's all the same, right? Maybe he has to change something. Hey, Phil? Phil? Hey! Phil Connors, I thought that was you. I gotta chill, this is freaky. Don't you say you don't remember me? Ned Ryerson. Bang! Oh, first shot. So, how's it going, old buddy? I gotta go. Oh, dude. Watch out for that first step. <laughs> you just be like, I guess I dreamed it. Ah. Where have you been? I need someone to give me a good, hard slap in the face. Oh. How's that? Good. Something's going on. I don't know what to do. Are you drunk or something? I may be having a problem. Yeah, I guess you'd be like, I'm going crazy. Let's just do this, Phil. Then we'll talk. It's gonna say the same thing? Well, it's Groundhog Day. Again? Prognosticator of Prognosticator emerged from Phil! Ha! Woo! Just took the same shower. <laughs> Dude. I know there's a blizzard. When are the long distance lines gonna be repaired? I feel like he has to change something. Will it still be broken in the morning? Oh.
I gotta chill. It's just freaky. If you guys like watching movies with me, I would love if you could subscribe right down there. I do three new videos every single week. Can you imagine you're just like stuck? Oh, the pencil. Oh, crap. Morning. Up to see the groundhog. Just bypassing everything. How do you get out of it? Maybe if, what if he just drives right out of town right now? Hey, Bill Connors, I hope we're... <laughs> Bill, Bill, over here. We really have to talk, come on. Hey, now, when you get finished, come and meet me in the diner. How do you explain? More coffee, huh? No, thanks, just a check, please. Okay, this is different. This is different. Okay, now tell me why you're too sick to work and it better be good. I'm reliving <laughs> the same day over and over. She's gonna think he's gone nuts. Groundhog Day. Today. Okay, I'm waiting for the punchline. Really? This is the third time. She's gonna think he's gone nuts. But I can't even begin to imagine why you'd make up something like this. I'm not making it up. I am asking you for help. What can she do? Okay, what do you want me to do? I don't know. Come up with something. Bill, I think you need help. I need help. No spots, no clots. No tumor. If you want a CAT scan or an MRI, you're gonna have to go into Pittsburgh. I can't go into Pittsburgh. You know what you may need, Mr. Connors? A biopsy. A psychiatrist. Oh, yeah, maybe. That's an unusual problem. Most of my work is with couples, families. <laughs> He's out of his league. What do I do? I think we should meet again. How's tomorrow for you? What would you do if you were stuck in one place and every day was exactly the same? That about sums it up for me. I wonder what I would do. I've tr I'm trying to think if I just relived this random day over and over again. I don't know. Uh, oh. Oh, Come on. Friends don't let friends drive, right? I really don't think I should be driving. No, no. Hey, let's not forget the seat, folks. All right, well, he's doing a good deed. What if there were no tomorrow? That would mean there would be no consequences. That's true. We could do whatever we want. Uh-oh. Ah! Oh my god. Hey, you could get arrested, it won't matter. Don't drive on the railroad track. He's not gonna run right into a train though, is he? Oh dude, that was way too close. Uh, three cheeseburgers, large fries, two chocolate oh. shakes. Yes! He can just do whatever he wants. He's gonna be a total jerk! Not hot. Uh, was anybody looking for me here this morning? Uh, perhaps a state official, maybe a blue hat? Oh no, no one like that. Free pass. Mm. Just kissed her! Will you hold my room for me, please? I'm gonna stay an extra day. He's gonna do whatever the hell he wants. Uh-oh. This is gonna be bad. Hey! Is he just gonna clock him? Uh-oh. Phil? Phil Connors! Ned? Oh! He did! Not today, puddle! Oh my god, the donuts. <gasps> More coffee, hon? Yeah, just keep it coming, please. Just gonna light up. Don't you worry about cholesterol, lung cancer? Nothing matters! Oh. What? Oh my god. The wretch, concentered all in self, and doubly dying shall go down, unwept and unsung. Just quoting poetry in the diner. <laughs> what, you don't like poetry? I love poetry. Are you guys ready? We better get going if we're gonna stay ahead of the weather. Well, would you like a doggy bag? I'm gonna stay here and finish. Just smoking while he eats, that's so gross. I thought you hated this town. Well, it's beginning to grow on me. Bon appetit. What's your name? Nancy Taylor. What high school did you go to? Lincoln in Pittsburgh. Who was your 12th grade English teacher? Is he gathering information for tomorrow? Mrs. Walsh. Mrs. Walsh, yeah. Nancy? Nancy Taylor! Lincoln High School! He's good. Wow, that's amazing! You don't remember me, do you? I was short and I've sprouted. Sure! Gosh, how are you? You look terrific. <laughs> that's smart, I mean, I guess. Stay right here. Okay, I'll be right back. Very smooth, Phil. Very smooth. Nancy, I love you. I've always loved you. 
Nancy, will you be my wife? <gasps> oh, Phil. Rita, if you only had one day to live. Yeah, what would you do? What would you do with it? What are you looking for, Phil? A date for the weekend? No, I'm just interested in you. You know, what do you want? What do you like? Poetry. What kind of men are you interested in? Is this for real, Phil? Or are you just trying to make me look like a fool? Let me buy you a cup of coffee. And a donut. All right. Get to know her. So what do you want out of life, anyway? Career, love, marriage, children. How about you? What do you want? What I really want is someone like you. Is that true? Who is your perfect guy? Well, first of all, he's too humble to know he's perfect. That's me. You'll have to learn that. He's intelligent, supportive, funny. Me? Me? He's romantic <laughs> and courageous. Me also. Well, I hope they fall in love. And he plays an instrument. I am really close on this one. Wow, she's got high standards. Yeah. You know what, I mean? what are the chances of getting out today? Van still won't start. Larry's working on it. Can I buy you a drink? What is he doing? Okay. Jim Beam, ice, water. For you, miss? Sweet vermouth in the rocks with a twist, please. Oh. Oh, he's just gonna order that this time. Can I buy you a drink? Okay. Uh, sweet vermouth, rocks with a twist, please. For you, miss. The same. That's my favorite drink. Oh my, he's gonna he's gonna learn everything she loves. Mine too. It always makes me think of Rome. Well, what should we drink to? To the groundhog. I always drink to world peace. Redo. Respawn. Can I buy you a drink? Okay. Well, what should we drink to? I like to say a prayer and drink to world peace. Isn't this just manipulating her? To world peace. World peace. I'm gonna need to see him truly care about her. Small town people are more real, more down here. That's how I feel. Really? There is something so familiar about this. Oh. Do you ever have deja vu? Didn't you just ask me that? Maybe she could sense it. I think people place too much emphasis on their careers. I wish we could all live in the mountains at high altitude. That's where I see myself in five years. Uh -huh. How about you? She's pretty smitten. I just like to go with the flow. What's led you here? Of course, it's about a million miles from where I started out in college. I studied 19th century French poetry. What a waste of time. Dude! Oh, God. Do over. I studied 19th century French poetry. Is he about to quote a French poem? La fille qui j'aimerais que c'est bon fière chaque matin. You speak French. Oui. But uh, does he really care about her? I hope so. Yeah. Me neither. It's fun. <sighs> That is good, clean fun. I hope that one day I could do this with my own children. <laughs> hey, an assassin! I'll protect you, your majesty. <laughs> you shall not take her! Find cover, my lady! Yeah. I like that he's just playing with these kids. Help me! <laughs> now kiss! Oh. She's smitten. Well, do you like the way this day is turning out? It's a perfect day. You couldn't have planned a day like this. Now, or could he? It just takes an awful lot of work. Is he just trying to sleep with her, or does he? Is he gonna fall for her for real? And then, does he really want to live in the mountains in five years? Oh God. Come on in. I want to show you something. Would you like to sit and stare at the fake fire? <laughs> okay. Maybe I should go. You have to stay. We can see each other tomorrow. No. No, Phil, really. I don't think you can convince her. I love you. You don't even know me. It's been one day for her. Oh no, I can't believe I fell for this. And I hate fudge. No white chocolate, no fudge. Did you call up my friends and ask them what I like and no. what I don't like? No. Because he is being the perfect dude. I could never love someone like you, Phil, because you'll never love anyone but yourself. Give me another chance. Screwed it. Oh, and good clean fun too. Oh, they're redoing it. Gosh, I can't wait to do this with my own children. I want to adopt. I want to have my own kids. I want to have foster kids. Hey, some kid just threw a snowball at us. He should, I feel like he's losing it. Ow, ow, are any of you up for adoption? <laughs> he's acting like a psycho. <laughs> She's not into it. Stop it. Can't force it, dude. I'm glad she's not falling for it. It's not working, because it's not real. This is pitiful. And they used to pull the hog out and they used to eat it. You're <laughs> hypocrites, all of you. Am I upsetting you, princess? Oh, he's, he's lost it. I feel like you would though, you'd just, you'd just go nuts. There is no way that this winter is ever 
going to end. He's got to be stopped, and I have to stop him. Is he going to kill the groundhog? He's out of his gourd. I've come to the end of me, Rita. There's no way out now. He's not going to do something drastic, is he? He just smiled at me. Did you see that? Okay, little fella, there you go. Hi there, mister. Something I can do you for? He's going to do something crazy. Hey, what are you doing? Hey. Somebody get in that belt. Why would anybody steal a ground? I could probably think of a couple of reasons. Herbert. Oh, I wasn't thinking that. That's not bad for a quadruped. Limestone quarry. Phil, don't do anything crazy. Hot dog, there's no way out, except the way we came in. What is his plan here? Don't shoot him. You gotta shoot, aim high, I don't wanna hit the groundhog. Well, we mustn't keep our public waiting, huh? <laughs> it's showtime, Phil. The groundhog is his only friend now. Is he, is he gonna jump something? Ah, oh, don't, don't. Oh, frig, he did. Yeah. Holy crap. He might be okay. <gasps> no, probably not now. And the groundhog too. <gasps> oh, I'm nuts. He can't escape it. How does he stop it? Would you like some... Are you taking it? Toast? Off. That's dark. Oh my god. He just keeps trying over and over. I am an immortal. I guess you would think that. Why are you telling me this? Because I want you to believe in me. You're not a god. Doris. Her brother-in-law, Carl, owns this diner. She's worked here since she was 17. Yeah, he can prove it. This is Debbie Kleiser and her fiancé, Fred. He's talked to everybody. They're supposed to be getting married this afternoon, but Debbie is having second thoughts. What? Well, maybe the real God uses tricks. Maybe he's not omnipotent, just been around so long. He knows everything. Uh, well, I mean, yeah. I told you, I know everything. Five seconds, a waiter's gonna drop a tray of dishes. Okay? Okay, that's enough. Does she believe him? What about me, Phil? Do you know me too? You go to a lake in the summer with your family up in the mountain, in a place you used to crawl underneath to be alone. You're a sucker for French poetry and rhinestones. See, this is how you really, you really get to know her. Tell her the truth. You're kind to strangers and children, and when you stand in the snow, you look like an angel. How are you doing this? I wake up every day, right here. I got a little chill. If you still can't believe yeah. in, in 10 seconds, Larry is going to come through that door and take you away from But you can't let him. You've got to believe. I like this approach. You guys ready? We better get going if we're going to stay ahead of the weather. She believes him. Maybe I should spend the rest of the day with you as an objective witness just to see what happens. Gee, this sounds like a science project. <laughs> come on, it's, it's more in the wrist than the finger. It's just got to... See, they're just hanging out. I like this. Is this what you do with eternity? That's not the worst part. I don't know, Phil. Maybe it's not a curse. It just depends on how you look at it. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it's kind of a miracle. Gosh, you're an upbeat lady. <laughs> she is. <laughs> it's been a really nice day for me. I'm starting to feel real bad for him. I thought you were supposed to disappear, or I was, or something. Not until six. You knew I was waiting for midnight. Does this mean you're gonna leave? She's gonna stay? Oh, no. Good. Okay. But for reals this time. Okay, I like this much better. I feel like he's become a much nicer person. The first time I saw you, I knew that I wanted to hold you. This is warming my heart. Oh, I thought that might work. True love. Oh, is she with him? No, it didn't work. I thought that might work. Okay, campers, rise and shine. It's cold out there every day. What is this, Miami Beach? What's he going to do today? Maybe he's just going to be a nice guy. Who wants coffee? Get it while it's hot. Larry, skim milk, two sugar. 
See, I was just talking with Buster Green. He's the head groundhog honcho. Groundhog honcho. If we set up over here, we might get a better shot. Larry, what do you think? Yeah, let's go for it. I bet no one ever asks Larry what he thinks. We never talk, Larry. Do you have kids? Is he just having the nicest day? Yes, I'd like a piano lesson, please. Come on in. Cool, he's gonna learn to play the keys. Off to see the groundhog. Buongiorno, signore. Oh, wow, he's just bettering himself now. I like it. Is this him? Is he doing a sculpture now? Oh my god. He's gonna be so talented. Did you know he could ice sculpt? No. He's a man of many talents now. Coming along. Did you say this is your first lesson? Yes, but my father was a piano mover. So he absorbed some of that piano know-how. Phil Connors, I thought it was you. Ned oh, what's gonna come with this guy? Ed Ryerson. <laughs> yeah. I have missed you so much. I don't know where you're headed when you call in sick. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get going. Killed him with kindness. Get you someplace warm. Huh. He's being a real nice guy. Are you the one who brought the old man in? Mm hmm. How's he? Well, he just passed away. I want to see his chart. Uh, sir. Oh. Sir, this is a restricted area. Sometimes people just die. Maybe he's supposed to save his life. Here you go. Thank you. Come on, Dad. Come on, Pop. Oh. Breathe, Pop. Can't save him. But standing here among the people of Punxsutawney and basking in the warmth of their hearths and hearts, I couldn't imagine a better fate than a long and lustrous winter. Charming. Well, where are you going? Would you like to get a cup of coffee? I'd love to. Can I have a rain check? I've got some errands I've got to run. I thought we were going back. What is he going to do now? I I'm so curious how this ends. I got it, Oh, he's like just helping everybody now. Oh my god, he is having a heart attack. Do something. Oh my god. <gasps> wow. Is he playing the piano actually? I just realized. Oh yeah. Oh, he's good. Smooth. <laughs> He got one for her. Yeah, a little jazz. I would be impressed by that. Isn't he good? He's my student. I'm so proud. <laughs> Hello, welcome to our party. Bill, I didn't know you could play like that. He is just sweeping her off her feet. There you are. Well, he would have choked for sure. He was trying to swallow a whole cow. Oh, I owe you one, buddy. What did you do today? Oh, same old, same old. Right. Excuse me, Mr. Connors. You are the best. No, you are the best. Here you go, kids. Congratulations. What is this? WrestleMania! No way! WrestleMania! <laughs> I really don't know. No, there is something going on with you. Would you like the long version or the short? Let's start with the short and go from there. You gonna tell her? I'm getting cold. How much longer do I have to sit here? I'm just trying to give you your money's worth. Is he sculpting her? Is it finished yet? Almost. I still have to put some cherry syrup on the top. Oh. Oh my god. It's beautiful. How did you do that? I know your face so well. I could have done it with my eyes closed. Mm. Now he's sweet. I like him a lot now. I don't know what to say. I do. No matter what happens tomorrow, I'm happy now. I think I'm happy too. True love, will it break the spell? Ah, uh, I thought that was it. Not again. Oh, that is a great <gasps> no, it's not. Oh! Oh! Mm. It worked, it worked, it worked, it worked. True love. Something is different. Good or bad? But this could be real good. Why are you here? You said stay, so I stay. I gotta check some. Yeah. Different. They're gone. Do you know what today is? No what? Today is tomorrow. It happened. He's so nice now. Is there anything I can do for you today? Hmm. I'm sure I could think of something. 
It's so beautiful. Let's live here. Really? What a day this has been. Why it's almost like being in love. They did fall in love. Ba, 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 da, ba, 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 ba. I like that one. Okay guys, well that was Groundhog Day and I really like that one more than I even thought I would. I, I think it might be my favorite thing that I've seen Bill Murray in. Yeah, this one was just really good, really charming. I feel like there is a, a real lesson there about being nice and, you know, having authentic relationships with people. I feel like it's, it's a lot more complex even than it might just seem on the surface. I think, you know, there's lots of movies with these kind of stories where they live the same day over and over. I really feel like this one is also unique in a way. I I liked Bill Murray's character. In the, in the beginning, you know, you don't like him. That's the thing. He's not a nice guy. And I really thought they were kind of, I don't know, they were getting into weird manipulation territory. And I was like, oh, I don't, I don't like this. Like if this is how he wins the girl over, I don't like it. But that's not what they were doing. They were just showing like, you know, he, he kind of got worse before he got better and he got nicer in the end. And I just really liked it. I really liked it. Bill Murray was really funny, really charming. I feel like he really had a good character arc in this. They gave him a lot to do in this movie and I feel like he really pulled it off. If you had said to me Bill Murray would be the lead and he would be a very earnest romantic guy in the end I don't know if I would have been like I could totally see him pulling that off but he did. He pulled it off. He's very romantic, very sweet. They were wonderful in the end. I just loved it. It was a, it was a little romance comedy time loop thing and I just I really liked it. I really liked it. It was very charming. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I had a great time. I hope you had a great time too and I will see you next time. Bye guys!